Hi, I'm Paul at One Man One Dog. Right, I never mentioned the editing of all my videos that I make for YouTube. My creativity and my workflow making videos has hit a problem, and that's a Windows 10 PC. About 20 years ago, my mum and dad bought me my first PC, and it was a Windows PC. I can't remember which um, version it was now, but yeah, 20 years ago, and I was really creative and productive on it and even though it wasn't as powerful as a modern day smartphone i did loads on it loads of videos and photographer so today 20 years later i have a windows 10 pc a samsung phone and a samsung tablet i'll talk more about the pc later but basically it crashes all the time and my workflow isn't easy at all while editing videos it's just crash after crash error reports and yeah I've had enough basically. So the Samsung phone is good but the tablet leaves much to be desired. The S Pen's good on it um, for art and that but for music like music production um, apps are hit and miss um, really. Um, not very good at cocktail. So yeah it doesn't have a specific audio driver and basically makes android no good for music production so i sold the samsung tablet on ebay and this video is upcycle recycle and upgrade i'm not spending any money as i've got no budget for this it's sell buy sell buy sell buy right so i sold the samsung tablet and i'll show you what i've bought next okay so it's an ipad pro second generation 10.5 inch 256 gigabyte it's a wi-fi model it's space gray it's compatible with the apple pencil so i got it yesterday i've put all the apps on it i've set all up the apple account and yeah i'll just spin it around and show you what the screen's like okay so it's touch id These are the apps that I've installed, Photo Booth, Roller Play, what connects to my MIDI keyboard, Simp One, iMovie, GarageBand, GoPro, GoPro Quick, and LumaFusion is an editor. So, I sold the Samsung tablet and bought this, didn't cost me any money, basically it's a straight swap a bit of messing about on ebay selling stuff and posting stuff and then waiting for this to be delivered but yeah a straight swap so i'm going to bang it in a tablet case that i've got it's an old 10 inch tablet case so i'm going to put it in that i can't afford a new case at the minute like i said i've got no budget for this and no money to spend so yeah after mate do and it'll be fine right okay Let's get GarageBand on. So, this is loops on GarageBand, and yeah, let's have a go.
Okay, so that was a quick jam on garage band on loops. Right, I've already been more creative in a few hours on this iPad than in the total time of owning the Samsung tablet, so I'll top upgrade. Okay, so next is the Windows 10 PC, the problem. Okay, so it's a Windows 10 PC, bought 2019 for 450 quid from Argos. Like I said, Windows 10, it's MSI, I'm not sure of the model. It's got a 1080 Ti graphics card, it's got 8 gigabyte of RAM. Now I've been messing with it and it's back to originally how it was. It's got 128 gigabyte SSD hard drive for the operating system. It's also got one terabyte um, hard drive and that's just a standard hard drive and that's a storage drive. These are the ports at the back, so two USB, a serial I think. Um, that doesn't work, that doesn't work and that doesn't work because they're fitted to the motherboard and it's a shared graphics card and because I've got a graphics card fitted they don't work so two USB-C's, two normal USB's, a LAN, the audio, mic and etc so you've got a display port and an HDMI and that's on the graphics card, the 1080 Ti graphics card and you've also got a DVI port and the power port I had a Kingston 256GB SSD drive in and I use it as storage for Filmora so it would process my videos quicker and render while I was editing and I'll remove that anyway, so you'll see why later. Right, so problem one, the 128 gigabyte SSD hard drive for the operating system is full, and that's with Windows 10 updates, because I've not stored anything on it except for software, but anyway, it's full. And the terabyte hard drive that I use for storage, that's full as well, um, with footage, and the terabyte ain't that much really when you're filming in 2.7K on the GoPro. So problem two, it's got no Wi-Fi and it's got no Bluetooth. You have to plug the router in by LAN cable so it's got no Wi-Fi. So problem three is Filmora is crashing saying the graphics card is out of date. Now it's a gaming PC less than a year old. It can't be out of date. So I don't know whether that's a problem with Filmora or it's a problem with incompatibility on Windows 10 what you always get with the software so I've had enough it's killed my creativity I've ordered something and it'll be in the next few days and we'll catch up then okay so it's Thursday the 7th of May 2020 the Mac Mini's come and it should have come tomorrow on Friday so it's a day early so buzzing with that I'm just gonna open it and I'll show you the Mac Mini okay Hey, he knows on the lens. She's very nosy. Are you biting it? Are you biting it? Hey. Right, okay, so quickly, it come with a power lead. What meant to come with a power lead? Um, it was meant to be just a uh, Mac Mini on its own. Okay. So it's inside this green bag. Let's get it opened. Right, so here it is without her putting the nose on my lens. It's got a few scuffs on the case. Let's get it plugged in and see if it works. And then I'm gonna do the upgrades. So the RAM should be coming today. And I've got the SSD drive. I'll show that in a minute. But yeah, I wanna see whether it's working. Right, okay, it works. If you can see it, it's on OSX Yosemite. And you can see there, late 2012. 2.5 gigahertz intel core i5 and 8 gigabyte of memory so i'm going to do the upgrades and i'll show you bits while i do it i never show this little guy but here he is loop the tie ties
Right, so I've got the Kingston SSD drive. That's 256 gigabyte. Um, oh, so 40 gigabyte it says there, right? And this is a two RAM. Eight gigabyte each, specifically for the Mac Mini 2012. Right, well the postman's been and the extra hard drive cable didn't come. Should have come yesterday, that's Wednesday or today Thursday. Um, typical eBayers, um, don't blame my post, I blame the eBayers. So I've got no tool to fit it, um, so I've had to get a few screwdrivers out. And my mate, Rusky's Adventures, a fellow YouTuber, his dad's a spark and he's told me some things to do if I struggle. So... Okay, I'll just show the Mac next. As you can see, the top RAM is green and the bottom one's blue. I thought with PCs, the RAM had to match. It'd be the same make, but it's been open anyway because it's got a black screw here. Shouldn't have a black screw. Should have one of them. So I'm going to first of all undo them. Bear what a struggle with these screws. Um, you need a Torx um, 0.8, I think. So let's get this removed. Right, I've removed the RAM. I've undone these screws here, which came out quite easy because it's already been taken apart by the look of it. Some of the screws have been changed from the original Apple ones. So don't put your nose on it. Next, you remove this black plastic here, this screw at the bottom there right next remove the screws on the wi-fi shield okay there you have the hard drive underneath i'll just pop it out you remove this here and then pull it out typical took cutting grass here's the hard drive removed and this is another one of the cables that i've ordered that's what it looks like Right, it's just a case to put the hard drive back in and connect it here. I will have to take it apart again to fit the other hard drive when the cable finally comes. Right, it's fitted. It's a case of put it all back together now and put the RAM in last. That's a Wi-Fi shield fitted. Right, next I'll fit the plastic that goes at the side here. That's the plastic and the fan fitted. Next to fit the RAM, that's easy. Bottom one fitted. Top one fitted, right. I'll put the back on, I'll show you how the back goes on because I didn't show it before taking it off. Right, okay, so you fit the back on like this. You just push it and twist it and that's it. Okay, so you can hear people going on outside and my pup's gone looking. But I'm going to plug it in now, and because it's got an SSD drive that was on Windows 10, it might need formatting, erasing, partitioning, um, we'll see. Right, I'm going to plug it in and connect it to the Apple Remote Recoverer. Right, what I'll do is power it up. So this Windows key here that you can see on an Apple keyboard, that's a command key. So you press the Windows key, the Alt and R. Turn it on at the same time and I'll show you it connecting. As you can see, you get this screen and this is a remote recoverer. Right, okay, you wait five minutes and macOS utilities come up and I want to go on dish utility. So, dish utility, continuum. So, this here that you can see is the SSD drive so I've got to wipe that right I've got to rename it wait on a minute okay so I've entered the name because it'll rename it I'll click on this and APF yeah arrays That's that done. So you see it's renamed it and wiped it. 
Right, so I've nearly forgot. You need to partition my drive. You need to go on this. Right, let's try again. But it says it'll take 23 minutes, so I'll catch up in 23 minutes. Right, it took an hour and 15 minutes, and with 12 minutes left. Okay, so this has come up. Probably installing it. That first bit was downloading it, I imagine. This will be the install. Don't know how long this will take. Right, okay, so that's it installed. It's on the welcome page where you enter your Apple ID and stuff like that. So I'll catch up when it's all up and running. Right, 20 minutes later and Catalina's installed. So that's basically it. I've gone from Windows 10 PC to a Mac Mini 2012. What I've upgraded with RAM and a hard drive, as you've seen in my video. Now is to edit this video, what I've been filming all the time. I'm going to do it on iMovie. And yeah, I'll catch up after when I've installed all my apps. Okay, so it's 9pm on Friday the 8th of May 2020. It's VE day. It's Bank Holiday Friday, so you can hear music in the background. And that's the neighbours partying. Um, Lockdown haven't been reviewed yet till Monday, so yeah, but yeah, um, we sound like we're in party mode anyway. So I've been editing and I'm on iMovie. So, first of all, I'll show you all the footage I filmed. So, that's all the footage for this video, and this is a timeline. If you scroll along it, you can see, and if you look here it's 17 minutes long this video so it's all edited now and this is the outro to the end of the video and i'm all done it's all up and working so you've watched me upgrade from windows 10 pc to a mac mini 2012 and yeah i've upgraded it as you've seen and this is the outro vlog now the end of the video so you've been watching me pal at one man one dog and thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and if you have consider subscribing and if you're a subscriber already massive thanks for watching um cheers and that's me right and let's just drop this down and there you have a changing background, it's an adaptive display and the sun sets on this island. Okay, thanks, bye.